Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today guys, um, today we're gonna be making some GFX. So now, uh, oh sh Today we're gonna be focusing on GFX, and if you don't know what GFX are, they're mostly like, uh, they're just, and they're gonna look like something like this. Uh, really, uh, good. Oof. Okay, what am I just doing? Okay, um, yeah, they just look like this, okay? Um, they're really good graphics, and it's not gonna be a tutorial today. Um, I might make a tutorial soon, I'm not sure. Uh, so today I'm gonna be making some GFX for my friends. Uh, my, I met my friend right here. Um, so, uh, yeah, he asked me to make a GFX, and he's wondering uh, if I can make it for him. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to tell my friends, you know, we're just making a video. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my Discord on the disturb, of course. So yeah. Okay, today's gonna be very simple. Um, I haven't uploaded in a long time. Again, I'm sorry. No school. So as you can see, um, right here, he says he wants the same pose, uh, kind of football. So what he means is, so same thing the pose I made for my other friend, um, for him right here. Uh, he he wants the same pose as this, and the background he wants the same pose. Um, and the back, I meant the same pose, right? And in the background he wants, the background is like this. Okay. Yeah, you don't see my uh, YouTube uh, profile picture on YouTube. It's gonna the background gonna be like this. So it's really easy to make. Um, you want to do story, I can do it, it's fine. Okay, so as you can see, this is his account right here. Um, so he wants to make a GFX like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to make something like... Uh, I'm still going to make the same pose, but... I'm okay, so first we're going to go to plugins, plugins, whatever it is, lock, uh, that. And then paste his username in. We're going to spawn in R6, okay? So yeah, there you go, that's his avatar. So now you're going to go to the right hand, uh, right hand right here. Click his avatar. Uh, right click, okay, right click on his avatar, go down, and then export selection, okay, so it's gonna be OBJ as you can see right here, um, that's, that's what you want it to be, okay, the file, the file name, name is, I'm gonna name his, um, Francisco, you know, that's his name, so, you're gonna hold control, oh, my bad, hold control, right, and click on his accessories right here, and once you're done with that, uh, make sure it's like, you know, blue like this, I don't know how you say it, but make sure you do that. Export selection again, and uh, you can save in the same file you want, but it's kind of messy in my opinion, so I just make a new file. So once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and then, uh, head out to your paint rig, and I want to do it in the main blender because it would be very messy and stuff. So I would just download the paint rig V3. I would put the link down in the description. You can download that. Um, see, okay, Oop, my bad. Okay, so I got the problem fixed, but um, what happened was it took me almost 20, 30, 20, 25 minutes. Um, what happened was when I opened it up, it saved one of my past uh, uh, GFX, you know, project I had. And I don't, I, I don't know why, but when I closed that press, don't save. And when I opened it up again today, um, it, you know, I still showed that pose, you know, that thing. And I couldn't do anything for some reason. I tried everything I had, but what happened... What I did was I uninstalled it, you know, I delete the the past uh, paint rig, and um, I installed it again, you know, and it, it worked. I that was interesting. So uh, for today, uh, I, how you do this is you see you have this uh, uh what's it called this rig right here, you know, like a Roblox rig, and what you do is you, you should have this uh, have this thing open right now, uh, right here, you know, right here, and what you do is uh up here and then you go to this very small thing right here okay, you have this you look into it you have this file thing you want to click it okay and you want to uh you want to import your uh your character's image i guess i'm not, I'm not really sure but uh, um yeah handle image whatever you call it so there you go that's his uh, avatar right here so once you got that done you don't have to worry about this uh thing right here you know the thing on top 
importing the accessories for your avatar. So then you go to files, import, uh, for OBJ. Uh, don't download the MTL, I don't know what that does anyways. It says OBJ file, you know, you open it up, and boom, it should look like that. Move it. Okay, so you want to go ahead and move it up. It, it, it should, sometimes it should stay in a place as the avatar, but mostly, I would just, uh, if it doesn't, then I would resize it the same. It might be a bit hard, but... Uh, once you got that done, it'd be really easy. Uh, it'll be safe sailing on the way home. So it looks transparent sometimes, but you don't have to worry about that since uh, if you like go to this down here, go to this mode. See, it's not transparent anymore. It looks a bit weird. Graphic. I mean, not graphic. Well, yeah, kind of graphic, like pixel like, um, you know, thing. It's really easy for this uh, part. Just go to this. Uh, you're going to go to your accessory thing and then hold the control while you're at it. And go to a head attachments on the top very top and now you want to press Control P it says object press that what that does is just groups it together you know so <laughs> you, don't, you don't move your head only but you move like the both accessories and the head now you just got to do a pose I think um, click on this body here it should have everything uh, on glowing orange yellowish you go down here to object it should say pose mode um, it doesn't, I don't know, <laughs> you might have to watch another tutorial, but this is not the tutorial. So now you got that done, uh, you can do any pose you like, okay, move that down, uh, move, oop, okay, um, oh yeah, let's make a pose, so he's, okay, so, um, where is it at? Okay, so he said right here he wants the poses to be the same as uh, the one catch, uh, the one catch football pose I did for uh, for my other friend right here. He wants to pose like this. Uh, it's not gonna be the exact same thing, but I am gonna make it a little more, a little bit more um, open, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, uh, once you got, uh, so now let's go ahead and make the pose. We do have to import the football. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting but yeah let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna make the pose right now I'm gonna speed it up because it might take a while so yeah let's, let's go ahead and do that okay so as a reference of doing this first hand catch um, GFX thing you want to call it. Um, I actually reference it as a one catch. Uh, I'm gonna search it up on So I actually reference it as this catch right here, made in football. Um, it made by OBJ. That's actually his name in the. Uh, his, his actually his name. Um, it's, real, it's translated to Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, uh, OBJ for this one and I'm gonna spawn it I'm um, just gonna do the same thing again but I'm gonna spawn it in the same uh, same same place that's all right guys so we're back here again uh, we're gonna go ahead and import you know, the, uh, the football so uh, same thing there you go so uh, like I said if you spawn the if you spawn the football in the Roblox studio the same thing like a spawn spawn check uh you know it was spawn the same thing as uh, in roblox i mean in the paint rate too so it's really easy to adjust and stuff so i really i really i really really love that what we do here is go back 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 like, look right here like, it kind of kneels down uh i think i'm actually gonna kneel i'm, I'm i think I'm, i think i'm actually gonna do that you know football is going to anchor down all right guys so there you have it um that's our pose okay so uh so okay there it is so now i'm gonna have to add the camera and everything for the lighting so you look back up here 
right here. So I have the camera like that and add the lighting on top here. You can't see it because it's transparent as always. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. It should be our last step for pose and we're gonna get into the Photoshop for the uh, editing background, you know. That'd be so the last part uh, for the background is really really easy, trust me. Um might be some annoying stuff, but you know it, it's not that hard, so so once you're done with the pose, you don't want to stay in uh, you don't want to you don't want to stay in pose mode right here you want to go to um you want to go to uh object mode now okay uh now you can't uh, edit the pose anymore so I, I think once you're done with the pose you don't need to edit anything else unless you mess up something so now you want to go to next to the uh this uh object pose mode or edit mode whatever it is on the bottom here uh it should be like a ed add mode okay? they should always have that then you want to go to camera, okay? That's, that's the camera. And for this part, it, it is pretty annoying to uh, adjust and everything. I, I don't really like it, but once you got it right, you know, that's really, really awesome. So. Okay, um, I think that should be good, you know, for the, uh, the camera. Uh, I'm gonna edit this back like that. Okay, there you go. I think I think that should be good enough. Okay, now we got the lighting, you know, because I don't I don't want it to be all dark and you know weird looking. So same thing, you go down here, add. You go to light. I would, I, for my opinion, I would do point. You know, it's, it's more. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I like I like point. I like point because it's much better and stuff. So if you look here, right, um, it's not bright, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, if you want to see how light it is, you can't see in this. So now you want to import it. So we're done with the pose and the paint rake. Right so you want to go to the right and go to this right here. It should be above this little picture thing, the same as picture. So you're gonna go all the way to the bottom, go to file format you can do png but i like to do jpeg for no reason at all okay i don't i don't care and go to top render render image now the image is actually rendering so this is our image right here now we can let that uh render okay so as you can see sample is gonna go up to so what i do is you can't i don't think you can tell if uh when it's done rendering and that's you look down here it has this uh like you know battery percentage thingy um, what I, I can look on, you know, you can look on both of these. Um, I will look on sample when once it reached 300 uh, slash 300. Um, I would uh, go to image and uh, what's it? it says save as, but you can't see it right now because it's not done. Uh, yeah, I'll go image save as, and you can pick the folder you want, name it, whatever you want, you know. And then, yeah, there you go. So, we're gonna wait for this to be done. So, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut to when we're done. So see you then. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Um, okay. So as you can see, you don't have a, you don't see any sample. That means it's already done. Or this thing, it, like it should, uh, like you don't see any green. Like you know, okay. There you go. Photo here. Okay. There you go. So this is the main site I use for the background. Uh, like what's it called? For for the easy effect. Okay. So we got done with that. And um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the background, okay? So, I don't know. So he said the back, he wants the background the same as mine's. So I think he, he's talking about this one right here. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's copy image. You don't have to save it, in my opinion, because it's a lot of waste of time. It's uh, really small, so we're gonna go to edit, and we're gonna go to, uh, oh shit, wrong one. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go transform, we're gonna go to scale. And um, now you can, you know, scale it, okay? So now, for this is really easy. Go to background, right click, building options, stroke. Um, so, of course, we can do white, you know, it's really, really, uh, really cool, okay? So, I mean, you can do any color, to be honest, but I would do white, um, okay? Time's good enough. All right, looks good on me. Uh, I really hate this. Thing right here, it, man, it's, it just looks weird. Okay, Probably, hopefully it doesn't bother him. Um, so yeah, we got that done. So now you're gonna press OK. You don't press OK, it's not gonna save. Okay, so you 
I press anything, and we do drop shadows. And I would do 100%. So it looks like this, okay? See that uh, shadow right here? Uh, it's a shadow here, but you see the shadows on the outline. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's it for the GFX. Okay, I'm making a friend. Make I'm making a GFX for my friend. So now, uh, spot. I need to save it. Uh, what is it? Save. save export as. To bring you or JPEG doesn't matter. So. Okay guys, so we're done with our GFX, okay, for my friend. Uh, as you can see, it looks it looks pretty good, okay? Except this drop line deleted thing, I don't know. Just don't talk about that, it's so embarrassing. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the comments, I mean, in the comments. Um, yeah, it looks good to me, it loves the background, it's kind of blurred out, but I don't know how to fix that, so I don't know what's my problem. So, yeah, um, Thanks for watching. I might do more videos on this, you know, make more VFX and stuff. Do more experiments and stuff, but I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah. If you want to tour on GFX, I'll surely make it. Okay, it's not, it's not a big deal. So, so yeah, but the, the hair is kind of coming out of the uh, sunglasses. It's fine. I might make more, more videos of this. And see you guys later. So, bye. So I just want to make a quick outro. Uh, thank you for watching and shout out to my friend uh, Francisco. And here's his uh, Discord uh, profile on the screen. I'll put his YouTube channel on description. You know, show him some love. Um, thank you for watching. I'll make more type of these videos. Um, if I do get some more GFX commissions, then yeah, I'll surely, surely uh, make a video on that. It'd be really fun, really you know, really cool stuff. Um, I did get my first commission though, uh, pay me 150 robux, so it's not too bad, so yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys soon, so, subscribe, and hit the like button, bye.